Just did some damage at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. We're going into Home Goods and TJ Maxx right now. Let's go. First, it's home decor. The scalloped ribbed green console table was iconic. Also, this skeleton. A baby blue smeg espresso machine. I would have gotten this if I didn't already have an espresso machine. So cute. It's like floral arrangement. I wanted it so bad. It was in my cart the whole time I was shopping, but I love the peonies. But in reality, where am I going to put this gigantic fake floral arrangement? And it's fall. I can't be buying spring bouquets. Speaking of fall, they have such amazing rugs right now. This taboo list. Stop. I was obsessed with this wooden bench and these plaster bowls i just could not figure out what i would do with them i am actually regretting a lot of these things that i didn't come home with because i put a lot of them in my cart and put them back now onto shoes and clothes these gani dupes from steve madden in black and red i'm obsessed with them they just look uncomfortable i don't know a lot of lucky brand denim in here these cheetah print pants i got and guys they literally ripped down the seams the other day this little cherry knit boiler alert i got this how could i not obsessed with this denim dress but going into fall i just don't really need it i'm regretting not getting this cheetah print long sleeve shirt just black denim like corset was so cute and they had so many sets these two-piece sets are amazing i wanted to get literally every single one of them then there was this cheetah print set but i couldn't figure out if it was giving like grandma vibes or not lots of like preppy vibes this gave me really like durf avenue and this gave me like ralph lauren vibe i always like to go into the men's section i did pick up a couple things from the men's section because look come on and last a phone mount for my car okay that's all let me know if you want to haul